In this video, we're going to be talking about the second principle that governs how people make decisions. And this principle is um, um, highlighting the fact that the cost of something is what you give up to get it. Um, now, you know that uh, in the first principle, we talked about uh, the fact that people face trade-offs when they, when they are making any type of decision. Uh, but to make those decisions, um, you often require, we often require comparing the costs um, of, uh, of an action versus uh, uh, the benefits of that. Okay. Um, so let's, let's take an example here. Let's, let's again talk about um, the decision um, to go to college. Okay. You all have made that decision, decision to go to college. And while it may have seemed like the obvious thing to do, uh, because a college education in the US uh, is related to higher wages in the future uh, or better prospects in the job market, um, um, you know, so here, let's, let's write this down. So the benefits are um, that you get better or that you have better prospects in the job market or increased wages or salaries All right so there's one that's two um, you could then think about costs right so you probably already did this in your head but we're just talking about it from an economic standpoint. Um, so you might come up with the cost um, um, as just the tuition, um, the money spent on tuition, on room and board. Well, maybe room and board costs aren't there um, during uh, the pandemic, but at least there's tuition. Um, but maybe this is getting paid through financial aid for, for some students. Uh, but really, there, there, there are these costs. But uh, these don't really represent all that you have to give up to spend a year in college or four years in college. There are um, at least two problems with this calculation. First, that uh, it includes some things that are really uh, not just costs of going to college. So if you quit school, you would need a place to sleep and food to eat. Um, so room and board are costs of going to college um, only to the extent that there are that they are more expensive at college than elsewhere. So if you were staying at home um, uh, or off campus, maybe these costs are less. Okay, and second, that th this calculation also ignores the largest cost of going to college, which is your time and what could you do with your time so so you could um, um, you could spend a year or four years um, uh, when you're when you're in college you could spend four years listening to lectures reading textbooks and doing and writing papers um, and that is the time that you cannot spend working uh, at a full-time job. Now, I know that um, a lot of you work and you work part-time, but, but again, there are trade-offs that, that exist. So if you're spending more time at a job, you're spending less time um, studying. So um, you can't, uh, you have to forego wages uh, or salaries at a full-time job so um, what we can say um, here is that the opportunity cost you may have heard the term before but this is what this principle the second principle is about the opportunity cost of an item is what you give to give up to get that item so while making any decision, um, decision makers should be aware that uh, uh, opportunity costs uh, are accompanying each each action that they that they make. 